All right, so I'm quickly gonna show you guys how I make uh, agua de sandia with fresa. So I have half watermelon here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just chop this baby up. And I'll be back once I have done that. That way you guys can see what is next. All right, so I went ahead and chopped half of my watermelon already. Now, right here on the side, I do have one pound of strawberries. So from this one pound, about three fourths of the pound, I'm going to be blending in with the watermelon. And the one fourth that is left, uh, I will be chopping up to just add in there. So these are not gonna be exact measurements. I'm kind of just hinting at it, like three fourths and one fourth is what I will be guiding myself with. Um, you can choose to use the whole pound. That is up to you, that is totally okay, but I'm just gonna be using three fourths of this. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I already cleaned these, now I'm just gonna be removing the green part and I'll be back to check in with you guys. So the reason I'm slicing the strawberries is because I will just be adding these in once the agua is completely made. So I don't want them chopped. Uh, I chopped it in the other video where I did the agua fresca and we added milk. So it'll be similar, but not exactly because we are slicing it this time. However, if you prefer to choose to um, chop your strawberries, you can totally do that, that's okay. I just, when I make it like this, I prefer to slice the strawberries. So I went ahead and blended some of it already. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. So I'm gonna be taking my blender. So this is the cup for my blender. And it is dirty already because as I mentioned, I already went ahead and did that. So I'm gonna take some of the watermelon and add this in here. And then we'll be blending the watermelon with the strawberries and one cup of water. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the strawberries. I'm gonna go ahead and set whatever's left over of the watermelon inside. However, I will be blending that. I'm just setting it aside for the moment. I'm just adding some strawberries and now one cup of water. So the water just helps it blend a little better. Um, you don't have to add the water right now, but at the end you will be needing to add four cups. Um, so once I add those cups of water, I'll just be adding two, being that I did blend one cup of water in with this one and one cup with this one. But now I'm gonna just go ahead and blend this. So when I go ahead to blend this, I just set it to medium. Now I'm not gonna turn it on just yet because I do wanna mention where I got my um, blender. Sorry guys, I forgot what I was gonna say. But where I got my blender, because a lot of people did ask me where I got it. I got it at Costco. It is a Ninja blender and it cost about 150, but I did not just get this. I got the entire setup. So it came with this and I think it was one to make dough and a few other things as well as the smoothie blenders. So I got the entire kit for 150 and I got it at Costco. But now that I told you guys that, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on. So I finished blending it. Now there was a very little watermelon left. Oh my God, I hate that noise. There was very little watermelon left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this in here so that I can finish it all up together. And after I blend it, I will be coming back to show you guys when I strain it. So it is done blending now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my strainer right here so that I can begin to strain the water. Now you don't have to do this, but I personally don't like having that excess pulp in there. So that's the reason I strain it. However, if you like it, you can totally skip this step. Skip this step, I mean. I feel like sometimes I wanna talk so quick, I don't finish what I'm trying to say. But don't mind me. I also like to take a spoon and just stir this around to help uh, the process of this go by quicker. Um, that way I get all the water and no pulp. So I did go ahead and add two cups of ice right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add two more, making it a total of four cups of ice. It's really hot today, guys, so that's why I'm adding so much ice. But now I'm gonna go ahead and get another two cups of water and go ahead and add that. So now we're gonna be squeezing two lemons in here. The fourth piece is already in the squeezer. So I'm gonna just go ahead and add these. So I'm gonna add the three tablespoons of sugar. However, if you like it to be sweet, you can add more. I just don't like mine to be that sweet, so I'll only be adding three. So once you've added the sugar, just go ahead and mix this up. Now, another option is for you to add the sugar when you blend the strawberries and the watermelon. However, I just went ahead and added it at the end. Um, and now this is done. Let's just serve it up and make it look cute. 
All right, guys, so here is a little presentation moment. So it is perfect for summer right now. Um, I said summer, I mean spring, because it's already hot, but it feels like summer to me. I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant. I don't know. Um, excuse the no makeup. We are in quarantine. I'm going nowhere. Uh, but that's basically it. And if you haven't already, followed me on my Instagram. My Instagram is emilyerica18. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Drop any comments that you have, questions. I will be um, answering those for you guys, as always. And with that being said, me and my drink. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey, I look better than what I've been through. Yeah, it's a celebration.